This is Vietnamese first reaction to ever seeing a dirt track race. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You're very welcome. Welcome to Texas.
What more fun going in the straight run, right. really, really quick, or going really fast in a oval for 20 laps? Oh, it's definitely in an oval. <laughs> Grand racing is a fine sport, but I just can't latch on to that sitting down and running three seconds and have to wait another day and a half for it again. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Congratulations, them guys can mess up. I can mess up three seconds a lap and catch up four or five laps later. But you know, there's nothing like running off the board and just a whole bunch of guys that we ain't got a clue what's going on. Sometimes it's kind of like rolling dice, huh? Between that and hurting hands. Exactly. Exactly. Well, to be doing this sport for so long, one of the things that you know I want to know is what keeps you coming back year after year. What what brings you back to sitting in that car year after year, week after week? Just the love of doing it. Just, just the love of the sport. And of course, being a little bit on the goofy side there. <laughs> you got to be a little uh, little out of your mind on the car. Well, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> well, for one that's been doing this for such a long time, what's something that you would pass on of knowledge or advice to young folks that would want to get into the sport or the younger generations that are already in the sport racing? Basically, you just got to stay up on top of it. Uh, you can't uh, just do one thing a week and think that that's going to make you run better in competition. You've got to stay up on the whole sport and all the technology. And, uh, you've got to give it all your heart. You can't, you can't do this part time. That's basically for you. You cannot do it part time. And you know, talking about giving it all your heart, tough break for you there in hot laps in your 22L, giving up the ghost in that power plant. And your son gives up his ride to let you get behind the wheel and get to race in the 19 year old Kent Lewis Classic. Well, I do appreciate that, him yeah, and giving his idea, but I do have to say that he was big help in building the motor to go up. I won't blame you on him. There you go, father and son. You know, that's what, hey, so if he was a big help in building it, was he doing the holding of a flashlight or was he, you know, handing tools or doing the work? <laughs> well, when you got your beer goggles on, there's no telling what could happen at that point, huh? no way. Well, Kent, we appreciate you for taking the time to come over here and chat with us during an intermission. And let people get to see the face behind the name of the Kent Lewis Classic. Kent, go get them. Thank you. I want to thank all of y'all for showing up. Uh, we could not do this without you people coming out here. Watch that people. We love you. Thank you very much. Absolutely, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Kim Lewis Sr. Wow, that was cool, man. That guy is 76 years old and still out there wielding a sprint car. <laughs> so, what did you think of the races? I'm going to like it. Okay. Okay. Ready? Good. <laughs> 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 <laughs>